Alright people, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday and that means they're using U-Belt Exceeds. So, uh, good news. Uh, apparently my friends decided, were like, you know what, we can find something for live videos, you know. They got a couple of decks, you know, it might get a little bit repetitive of what decks we have, but, you know, we'll try to get different combinations of duel and we'll go ahead and do that. And since so we're going to get back to doing live videos, uh, starting not next week because, you know, today there's not going to be another live video. We haven't recorded them yet, so clearly there's not going to be one yet. But uh, when the live videos start going up again, uh, that also means that we are going to go ahead and start our new series, pseudo series, that goes with the live videos, which of course means webcam duels. So uh, I got to make sure that I'm looking all good, all fresh and glistening, all dipped in butter. I got to make sure I look, you know, presentable for you guys. But uh, if you guys are actually wondering, all right, well, what is it? Well, pretty much it's kind of, it's going to be just like vitamin Y at, at the start. Um, the idea of it is that I want it to be like Lime and Y, so you, and, you know, I might put my picture, like, maybe over here, over Yusei's face, and just put my webcam right here, so you can go ahead and see me, I don't know, or maybe somewhere, maybe I can, like, blow it up and make it, like, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I'll figure out somewhere to put it on the screen, and you'll see me in the little webcam while dueling. I'm going to be starting off dueling on Dueling Network, so if I get frustrated or angry at someone, you know, just be like Lime and Y, if you get to see how angry I am about my face. Now, the thing is, I want to make this different than, you know, simply just, you know, another episode of Vitamin Y. And by doing that, the way that I'm going to do that is by uh, uh, using a deck that is not on Vitamin Y. Uh, I talked about it at the end of Playlist the Bubble, not sure if anybody, you know, was like, oh, the duel's over, and then you just leave the, the, the you know, close out the video. Or is it like, you know, you actually, you know, uh, you know, take the time to go ahead and, uh, you know, listen to what I have to say, but I'm just going to go ahead and repeat myself. Uh, there's a U-Bell deck that I've been working on, and still am working on, that is not on Vime and Y, and I call it the eighth deck of Vime and Y, because there's only seven days in the week, each day has a week, but there's an eighth deck. You know, if, you know, Five Nights at Freddy, the Golden Freddy, this is the Golden U-Bell deck. So, uh, I was thinking about going ahead and using that on, uh, on Vime and Y, and, uh, I mean, not on Vitamin Y, on webcam duels. And, you know, if it works really well and people start to like it, then, you know, maybe one day it'll go ahead and get imported to, um, over to, uh, Vitamin Y here, you know? And, like I said, uh, since it is, you know, the golden e all right, so he's getting another one. I wonder if this face down monster I'm about to kill, I wonder if it's that. Eh. So we'll go ahead and have to find out. If you mirror force me, I'm definitely gonna chain call the haunted and summon you bell. Oh no, it's this one. Alright. Uh blah 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 blah. When a monster you control is destroyed by violence into grave, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once we turn on this defense position, card blah, blah blah blah. Okay. So he does nothing right now. Alright. So cards I won I got were level eater and soul charge. But uh yeah. So I might do that for the uh, him. and because, like I said, it's the golden U Bell deck. I might actually, uh, funny thing though, I might actually for the golden U Bell deck make if it comes out. Also, I'm trying the whole multiple nefarious, actually nefarious this thing. Uh, you can clearly see it's not working out the best. I mean, I got one which is great, but now I'm drawing the multiple, which may not be the greatest. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon dark Greffer. I'm gonna use the pet. A, a, a fact, enunciate, Daniel. Hello? A pact. A pact. I love using my monsters. A pact. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pitch dragon. A fact. We'll go ahead and pop the freaking supply squad because I hate that card. You know, I'm gonna kill your goat. You're gonna summon two tokens. I'm gonna kill your two tokens. It's as simple as that, you know. So, it really doesn't matter who attacks because it's, it's just gonna be token time anyway. Yep. Give me two tokens. Yeah, for you about Xyz, we're not really Xyz, are we? <laughs> no, we're not. But we will. We will. We're going to Xyz right now. Because there's actually a nice little friend that I would love to get. Fact. I'm going to detach get me a beautiful mass chameleon. I'm up on resources, but, you know, he's using Nordics, which is, of course, a synchro deck, so... You know, it's Synchro versus Xyz, alright? He's, he's 
he's Yugo and I'm Yuto. <laughs> That'd be cool if my DM decides to go ahead and put their pictures on here. Because oh. I'm using Xyz and he's using Synchro, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I'll give you a hint on the deck. Just, you know, I'll give you a hint and you're going to be like, what? All right. The deck runs malicious. All right. So it runs malicious, but it's not, but it doesn't run Plague Spreader. I know. Ooh. Mmm. Interesting. No. So it's not Plague Glasses. It has malicious in there, but it's not. Oh, you got Soul Charge too? Interesting. Any of you guys are tuner? None of you guys are a tuner, so do you have the tuner in your hand? No, you don't. You're just gonna summon an end. Well, once again, I'm gonna go ahead and detach it up and go ahead and get me another Mass Chameleon. Like, hey, you gotta kill this King of Fair Limp, because, you know, getting two Mass Chameleons? It's, it's powerful, you know? <laughs> you know, you do not want to allow me to get multiple Mass Chameleons. Not even remotely. Alright, so I could go for another rank 4 right now, but is it really necessary? I'm not getting any of my level modulators at all. At all. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty chill right now. Is there anybody else I need to send? I could send, like, you know... Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and send, like, you know, Terror Ultimate, because I don't want to draw them. Yeah, and then we're almost done. We're almost cleaned out here. We almost cleaned up house. Alright, so clearly I have a lot to kill. So, like I said, it really doesn't matter. Because he's clearly just going to go ahead and bite the bullet, summon the token. So he'll get one more token. Which, he'll have one token left on the field, which is a level 3 token. Alright, so if he wants to synchro summon with the level 3 token, more power to you. Nah, I'm okay. I'd rather... I want to see you do something in this duel, because literally you've been on the defensive all duel. You know, if you want to go ahead and summon your Nordic monster, then let me see it. Literally, I haven't even summoned you Bell. I, I, mean, I could literally just go, alright, call it the Haunted at the end of your main phase, and then just go, boop, summon back fucking Fairy Touch and Fairness right there, summon Terror. So, if I want to, I can handle the situation. I'm just wondering if you're ever going to do something in this duel. You're not really an entertaining opponent now, are you? Let me reverse, alright. You know, I definitely wanted to try out the triple Nefarious Arch Nefariousness in this deck because Nefarious Arch Nefariousness, the more copies I have, the more I should get it and use it, right? So once it gets one gets in the graveyard, I'm good. And then I can just use it as a beater or a mix C, uh, you know, level four. You know, level four, so rank four Xyz. Uh, but this deck has a little bit more revival than other decks. So of course it runs the limit versus the calls and the wastes, but it also has, of course, message in a bottle. So message in a bottle. You know, I'm summoned back with my effect negated, so I summon Yubel, and if I don't exceed with it, Yubel's on the field with effect negated, and it's not doing anything, right? So, I can go ahead during the end phase, go ahead and just go, alright, and various arch and variousness, go ahead and, uh, uh, and, uh, pop the Yubel with effect negated, and I will get to go ahead and some terror, you know, so, just in case, so, I think out of all the decks that I definitely want to try out. Uh, this one might be the best. I could, I could, if I wanted to, I could activate Call of the Haunted and end this duel. I could make Cowboy and end this duel. Hello? Cowboy. The power of Xyz beats the power of Synchros. Hey, it wasn't true in the damn TV. Oh, I didn't know he offered me a rematch. I was going to take it. Hey, it wasn't true in the TV show. Oops, worse. <laughs> Oh, it could have been, though. Yeah. So, like I said, I think if any of that that I should test out the multiple nefarious or the nefariousness, it's being this one. You know, so. Let's go ahead and see. Alright. Just dragon this time. The only card that I run at one. One dragon. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm just gonna beat him. I was thinking about setting it, but no, I'm just gonna beat it. Dragon's a Okay. He's gonna look using Shadal. It's like, no, just attack one dragon. And I attack one dragon just for Mask Chameleon. And also dragon the the graveyard pop effect. I like that. But instead I wonder if it's an unfazed MST. Yes it is. Alright. It's kinda of suspicious when you just set one thing and don't do anything. 
Alright, run it up. Let's go ahead and get an Armageddon Knight. So, I hope you guys are excited for it. You know, webcam duels and the, the eighth deck of Lyman Y. Should be interesting. It, it, it does something that no other Evil deck does here on the series. So, uh, you know, it's fresh, it's new, it's 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 going to be cool. Uh, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I think I, like I said, I'm hoping I'm looking forward to my opponent doing something right now, because my opponent's not really doing... Oh, you're going to drop cores. That's what you were planning on doing. Like, all right. Now it's smart to go ahead and put yourself in defense mode. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Castel. You can put Gors back in your damn deck. I don't need him here. <sighs> so the token is only 19, because it was summoned right after I attacked with Dragon, so it's not even strong enough to get over Castell. I was thinking about if we're going for King of Feral Up, but I already have the Mess Chameleon in hand, and I don't really feel like dealing with the Gors right now. If I don't have to. How the fuck am I supposed to deal with that? I did not know he was gonna summon that. Disgusting. Fucking light and darkness dragon. Ah, uh, I can activate the fucking oasis, but then it would just be negated. Ah. Uh, it's once per chain. All right, I'll take the twenty-eight. Alright, so Mass Chameleon, go effect, you're gonna go negate, and I'm gonna chain. Alright, so I'm negated, you go you drop down to uh twenty-three, which is still uh, stronger than me. You drop down to twenty-three. Okay. Then if I activate something again, you'll drop down to 18, and then you Bell's Effect to Tribute Dinner and Phase, you'll negate that, and you'll drop down to 13. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Activate the Galaxy Queen's Light, you negate that. And Phase, Bell Effect, you negate that. Go ahead, so now you're at 13. Alright, that was a pretty good way to handle Light and Darkness Dragon. Now all I have to do next turn if he doesn't do anything with is just tack over it. Nope, he's gonna tribute it. Ugh, for fucking Caius, really? That's annoying, so no more you bell for me. Definitely did well I saw it coming, but you know, there's not much I can do about it. Like I said, I hate fucking monarchs or anything Caius related. Really gets on my nerves whenever they banish my shit. Like, fucking... Ass. Like, really? Banish my Ebel. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I had a plan, but of course you had fucking Caius, so... Go ahead. I hate going against Monarchs. I've always hated going against Monarchs, actually, but... Now I really hate it. There's not a single rank 4 that can handle this situation the best. Wish I didn't use Castell already. Let me think. Alright, I got something. I got something. I got something. It's, it's gonna use up all my resources, but I got something. Tribute you to go ahead and give me a Galaxy Queen's Light. Activate Oasis. Summon you back in defense position. I'm gonna summon you. Uh, wizard. Oh, wizard effect to 
become level eight. Gossip of Queen's Light, both eight. XC into the man himself, Felgrand. Felgrand tackle the goddamn Caius. Go ahead. Used up all the cards in my hand, but <sighs> at least I'm back in this duel at least. It's probably gonna drop a battle fader. Yep, saw that coming. Go ahead. <sighs> I said I hate doing against Monarch so much. So much. Monarch suck. <laughs> All right, you're just gonna drop the tree born. Okay. in a bottle, but I don't think I have any different levels anymore. Nope, all I got is fours. Fours, 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 fours. I never fucking dropped, uh, uh, level year and Yubel is banished, so. Damn. So, message in a bottle is not gonna help. And Galaxy Wizard, you're not helping either. I'll set you, though. Maybe I can draw until level 4, maybe go into an XC later. This duel is going to be very harrowing. Um, the problem is I only have two blocks with Felgrand, so... I said I need to draw into something. I need to draw into something quick. Drew Ariza. Back. Lemon Reverse, that's nice and all, but... Oh, shit. I'm running out of plays here. Definitely, definitely, definitely running out of plays. I'm not drawing to shit. If I could just draw into a fucking monster. Like, can I please draw into a Dark Graffer? If I could draw into a Dark... If I drew into a Dark Graffer, this duel would already be over. But I'm not. I hate drawing against Monarch, because they're a pain in the dick. Like, are you out of monarchs to summon? Mm -hmm. That's his normal summon. God damn it, I don't need more galaxy wizards. Once per turn, you can. Blah, 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 blah. I only run 1 8, though. I only run 1 8, and that's only Felgrain. Damn. Damn. Damn, he does not know how hard it is that he banished my Yubel. It really hurts. I hate fucking Marks because of that. I have an idea that may be able to keep me in this duel. I'm pretty sure that he has something to block my my attack. He has a, he probably has another battle fader. He already used one, so second battle fader. There it is. Ah, oh, so annoying. Go ahead. If he had a monarch on his hand, he tripped, but he might have drawn into a monarch. I know one card he has in his hand. 
Ah, uh, it's been such a long time since I dueled again. Oh my God! Here comes another light and darkness. Yep. Oh, when this card is destroyed, you, know, you can target one monster and uh, destroy all cards you kill and special summon, if any. So you can summon the monarch again. Um, attack. Declaration. So, you negate me, of course. Wait, it doesn't, it doesn't destroy, it just negates the activation. So. Take 500. <sighs> Field was unchanged, so the attack goes through, but you still get your light and darkness effect. Yep. Lads can't be special summoned, so you're going to summon Kaius. The field was changed, so you can to re declare your attack at my King of Fairlands. Yep. I might be able to end this duel. Attack. It takes 400, 400. This main phase 2 make a cowboy this game. Yeah. Yeah, I got this. Bro, green. Rip the Kai's in half. Cowboy saved my ass again. Play the music. Bah. Damn. Oh my god. I hate monarchs. Alright. There. We won. Give Alex C's. Nice and powerful. <laughs> that Felgren play was super, super clutch. Alright. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So like I said. Starting, starting next week. We're definitely going to do the webcam duels and the return of live videos. So it's only been a week without any live videos. So I apologize for the inconvenience. Like I said, we just really haven't been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! that much live. But we're going to try to go ahead and do it just to get you guys some videos. So, you know, it'll be, by doing, you know, rotations with webcam duels, it'll save me a lot of uh, heartache by simply, uh, you know, spreading out the live videos. So, you know, if we record three live videos, then... You know, instead of that being only a week and a half, that would be three weeks because then the other, you know, Monday would be like, you know, the duel of the live video, then Wednesday could be the webcam duels, and we could just go back and forth through that. So, uh, yeah. That's simple. <gasps> the question is, am I going to put webcam duels in some thumbnail? I mean, in some playlist. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> so, because I'm already, i already stacked up with playlists on the channel. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm and Why. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Cosmic Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright guys, thanks for watching.